Hey guys, it's Brooke and I have a totally different type of video for you guys today. I'm so excited to share the experience that I had with you guys and I can't wait for you to see what my spring break trip entails. So many of you don't know, but I'm a senior in college and I study environmental science and policy. And for my last credit to graduate, I decided to go abroad to Iceland in order to study renewable energy. Uh, if you don't know, Iceland is the top country for renewable energy in the whole entire world. They're almost 100% sustainable. So I had the amazing opportunity to take a trip to Iceland um, to learn how they create their energy over there. I get to go to different types of power plants and I get to go on hikes and I'm going camping and I just wanted to bring you guys along with me. And I know with everything going on in the world right now, you would think that this trip would be canceled and it's totally not. I'm still going. It's so excited. It was a non-refundable trip. So, you know, the fact that I still get to go is pretty crazy and you know, the borders might be closed. <laughs> everywhere <laughs> and um yeah it's not stopping me definitely not stopping me i cannot wait to share this experience with you guys so um i think next time you see me i'll probably be at the airport i'm gonna try and record a little bit of something every single day i just kind of want to show you guys all that i get to do because i'm so excited i can't wait for you guys to learn with me and see all the amazing stuff that i get to see for this once in a lifetime opportunity that like i said is definitely not canceled but before we get into it like i say in all my videos if you're new here hello i'm brooke and welcome to my youtube channel i don't usually do videos like this i usually do makeup related content i do tutorials and beauty stuff but every once in a while i get a really amazing once in a lifetime opportunity to study abroad so glad i get to go so i just got on the airplane <laughs> i'm definitely on the airplane right now and yeah i think the flight is about um 11 10 hours i'm going from tampa to iceland so yeah i'm just gonna insert some footage of my um amazing flight yeah so as you guys can see i'm already on the airplane it's a pretty long flight and i'm not the biggest fan of flying so i really just tried to pass the time by looking out the window and i got to see some pretty cool things out that window you know the whole atlantic ocean it was pretty cool but once i finally got there I was pretty much ready to get going. Okay, so I finally got to my guest house. It's so cold here. So I'm just gonna show you the guest house for the first time. As you can see, my room is really spacious and big. I just had to flap down on the bed immediately. It looked so comfortable and I can't wait to stay here. So my guest house comes with this little tiny bed and it's so nicely decorated. It's so nice. I'm so excited to spend the next eight days here in Iceland. Oh my God, look, you can see all the snow that's out there. It's crazy pretty here. So this is a geothermal power plant. If you don't know, Iceland is on top of a bunch of volcanoes. So one of their main sources of renewable energy is actually using the heat from those volcanoes to produce energy. I'm sure that you can see in the video, but all these little bubbles are really coming from deep within the earth. And I just think it's so, so cool that I got to see this up close and personal in real life. It was an amazing experience. So here you can see I'm hiking through the highlands. The highlands are above a volcano in Iceland, so I got to see a bunch of cool stuff. I got to play with some snow, which I haven't gotten to do in so long. It was so much fun. So the group and I just spent the morning hiking and it was so cool. I saw so many neat things. I've just never hiked in the highlands before. It was amazing. 
So after the hike, we got to cool off um, in the hot springs. So this was a really fun part. Um, in Iceland, like I said, there's a bunch of volcanoes underneath its surface. So therefore the hotness comes up in bubbles and warms up this water. So um, while it might be cold outside, you can enjoy the wa warm water. And here's just some footage of me playing with my friends and laughing with all the people that I met on my wonderful trip. So this next uh, footage is from a hydroelectric power plant. As you can see, the water flowing is actually being used to produce energy for these lights. So it was something really cool. I never thought I'd get to see anything like it. So the next morning, we started off in the hot springs again. This was, again, so much fun. You can see me playing with all of the kids on the trip. It was so much fun. I made so many friends and so many lasting memories. So yeah, after we finished this up, we went to a sustainable greenhouse. Okay guys, this part is so cool. So we are in a sustainable greenhouse right now, which basically means that it doesn't use any power to be operating and it's like 100% on renewable energy. It doesn't produce any toxins for the environment. So they have some amazing plants here. I can't wait to show you guys. Like look at all of these. This is so crazy. I can't believe that this is a what a sustainable greenhouse looks like. It's so amazing. Here's an up close shot of one of the, um, you know, cactuses that they were able to grow here. So um, yeah, they're letting me hold this one. I don't know if they let everyone do that. Um, it's so amazing. They're grown so perfectly. It almost looks like it's fake and uh, um, bought somewhere, but no, this is totally real. Uh, this is what a sustainable, um, cactus looks like it's so crazy that they were able to do that so this is another hydroelectric power plant this is actually Iceland's biggest hydroelectric power plant which means it's the world's biggest hydroelectric power plant so I got to tour the biggest in the world which is just like I've been saying an amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity I'm so glad that I got to go and here is the last hike we went on. This is a hike through the glaciers. As you can see, I saw a bunch of snow and ice and it was so amazing for me to experience. I'm so glad that I got to spend this time outdoors instead of, you know, cooped up in my house like I'm under a quarantine or something. That would be crazy. But um, yeah, I just really enjoyed this hike. I had so much fun with all the peers. All right, so the next cool place that I'm at is a biofuel power plant. If you don't know what that is, it's a power plant where they produce a gas-like substance, but from plants, so you can fuel your car with it. So this right here is um, almond oil, and you can use it to power your car, but the guy there um, said you could drink it. So like, that's just so crazy. Like. First, he told me to drink it, and then we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go put it in the bus that we used to get here. So I don't know if I really want to drink it, but he said that we could. So well, you can drink it. Um, I guess you can, but I think I just decided that you shouldn't. But yeah, this one's made from almonds. Um, I think the most common one is is wheat. But yeah, let's go see if we can put it in the um, you know, the bus that we took to get here, the whole group of us in Iceland. All right, so obviously I'm um, outside, um, definitely outside in Iceland right now. Um, here is the bus that we've been taking everywhere. Super nice, super luxurious. So they claim that you know. Uh, if we put this in there, we can just um, ooh, let's make sure it's all the way off, you know? You know, if we put this in there, that we can um, use it uh, and get it all the way home. So we're going to test that out um, right now. <laughs> so yeah, just going to put some in there, top it off a little bit. All right. 
perfect. This is so cool. I think that biofuel is an amazing source of renewable energy. So this bit of footage is from a waterfall. Uh, we got to hike all around it. We got to hike through it. It was so cool. You know, living in Florida the past few years has made me forget that there is um, elevation in other parts of the world. So I really, really loved getting to see this waterfall. It was so pretty. And now I'm just gonna let you hear the amazing sounds. And so for my last clip I have for you the Jeep excursions where I got to go off-roading on a glacier. It was so much fun, but I couldn't get that much footage because like I said, it was off-roading. The road was very bumpy and I kept dropping the camera, so I ended up just enjoying the ride. So I just got back from the trip and before I end my first ever vlog, I just want to show you guys some of the amazing souvenirs that I got. So the first is this hat and as I'm sure you can read, it says NASA, which is um, the company that I was working for out there. It was an amazing experience. They gave everyone this hat for free. So I'm really proud to say that I was able to work with them. It was so amazing to experience and learn for such an amazing company so then i just brought one souvenir home so as you guys know iceland is you know um obviously very cold this time of year and they have a lot of glaciers so um the tour guy said that we should bring home some of the ice so i was able to get some on the plane and bring some home with me it is like some of the most purest water on the earth. So I'm so glad I get to keep this ice. I know that it looks just like water, but as soon as I get it in the freezer, you know, it traveled with me all the way across the ocean. Um, as soon as I get it in the freezer, it'll be back to its true glacier form and hopefully this will stop global warming. If you wanna hear anything else about my trip, if you guys have any questions about my amazing, amazing experience, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I'll definitely get back to you. I'm a pretty busy, big NASA researcher now, so it might be a little bit difficult for me to get back to you, but I will try my best. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And also, if you want to see more videos like this and some other stuff, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That's all I have for you guys this time. I'll see you next time. Bye.